Welcome to the advanced version of this kettlebell workout. This kettlebell workout is for the World Kettlebell video. If you don't know what it is, check it out, type it in Google. It's from Craigman Training. You can be part of it. It's cool, it's a lot of fun. Check it out. Either way, if you're not gonna be part of the World Kettlebell video, you can still do this workout. It's still a good workout to do. I'm gonna be going through all the little finer details of the workout. It's an advanced workout. So there's also progressions to this workout. There's the intermediate and beginner before this. So make sure you check it out. It will be named or you can, be uh, you can find it under World Kettlebell Video Version 3 Beginner or World Kettlebell Video Version 3 Intermediate, whichever one you're looking for. This uh, workout is done with two kettlebells. I've got a 16 and a 14 just because I'm too lazy to get the other 16. There's nothing wrong with uh, uneven weights. There's only two kilo difference. Um, as long as you switch it up on your next round, it's not a big issue. The workout, it's with two kettlebells. The exercises are three overhead deadlifts. Now you can only do an overhead deadlift with kettlebells. Because one kettlebell is dead on the ground, the other one is overhead. You can't do this with a barbell. It's a great exercise. It's really pulling everything from different angles. It's uh, really good for your thoracic, makes you do a good deep squat, and it works on your shoulders. It's an exercise you should try out. So three overhead deadlift on your left, three overhead deadlift on your right. Then you get six alternating presses. So alternating, one, two. It's not a seesaw press, because a seesaw press is one comes down, the other one comes up. That's a seesaw. So don't confuse it with a seesaw press. Your elbows are also out with a seesaw press, just like a seesaw. That's how a seesaw works. This is an alternating press. One up, when it's down, the other one comes up. Then four dead swing into clean, into squat. So that's a little combo. We do four of those. I'll demonstrate everything now. So I'm gonna dead clean one bell up while the other remains dead on the ground. Now I'm gonna press it up. I'm gonna create thoracic extension, pushing the chest out, pulling the shoulder blades together, pulling them down. I'm gonna keep looking ahead. I don't need to look at the bell. I'll feel where the bell is. If I start looking for the bell, it's going to be uncomfortable, that shoulder's going to come up, you're probably going to have a thoracic rotation. You want to avoid thoracic rotation. If you need thoracic rotation for this movement, you're probably not ready for it yet. Start with the intermediate or do some of the mobility exercises that I have on my channel. Keep pressing up. Elbow locked out. Grab the handle. One. Two, three, rack it. Then you're gonna dead clean the other one up. Now, another thing, if you do keep your shoulders in line, but that bell is coming forward, then you're under constant shoulder flexion. That's also not good for your shoulders. It means you don't have the mobility yet or the flexibility in your shoulders and your thoracic. So, don't do it. Start with the intermediate, go and do your drills. Start dead from the ground. One, two, three, back it. I just need to look what's next. Right. We're going to bring the other bell up into racking so we can do the alternating press. So keep this one tight. I come into a hang, then I pull it up fast. Looks like this. Alternating press, six in total. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Five, six, 
I'm going to drop the bells into a back swing into position where I'm going to start my depth swing clean and squat. They're in position, they're about one foot away from me. That's one of these feet here. I'm going to pull it back on the back swing. I'm going to keep the elbows close and clean it up. And squat. That's one. I'm going to drop them. As I drop them, I'm not going to follow them. I'm going to provide hip extension to provide counterbalance. Back into position. I got three more. Back swing, clean. Squat. Hip extension. Drop. Return to that. Two more. One more. Drop. That's the whole sequence. Next, I'm going to show you side on. Let me run you through one more time. Overhead deadlift, three times. That means one is overhead, one is deadlifting. Then you switch and do the other side. From there, you go into alternating press. Six in total, six presses in total. Left, right equals two. Then you drop both bells into dead in front of you with enough space to pull them back. Then you do four dead swing clean into squat. That's called a dead swing clean because there's lots of cleans that you can do. You can do a dead clean where you pull them straight up over here you're pulling them and swinging them so dead swing clean you got a hang clean there's so many cleans i've actually put over 70 variations of the clean with all the finer details on how to really master the kettlebell clean in a book and a course you can get it on the caveman training website 29.95 it's well worth the money you would have to pay a trainer for four or five weeks, three times a week to learn all this stuff. Check it out. I'm going to show you the side on. I'm going to dead clean and press one bell. Press. Now I'm going to deadlift the other one up. First, I'm going to create thoracic extension. One, two, three, other side. the bells out. Here, drop, through, and down to the ground. From there, dead swing, clean, and squat.
enough, I did one extra there or not. Now, when working with two bells, you gotta employ the racking safety grip. Fingers should be safe because they could get caught between the two handles. It's gonna hurt. If you don't know the racking safety grip, download Master Kettlebell Grips from Caveman Training. It's free. There's even a free course with it to check your knowledge. Okay, so that's the whole sequence. That's the one I'd like you to film and submit. Do the front and do the side. If you feel like some of the exercises are too difficult, only do one exercise or do a few, it doesn't matter. Whatever you can submit and be part of, it's all good. If you got questions, post them below, I will answer, or in the groups. Uh, we got lots of groups. Uh, Caveman Training has the Kettlebell Training Group, the Kettlebell Enthusiast Group, the United Kettlebell Kingdom Group, uh, Nothing But Training Matters, uh, Kettlebell Swing, and many more. So there are groups for anything that you're looking for. Join them, uh, be part of the community. It's all about positivity. Uh, I will kick your ass out if you're not positive and help grow the group. So seriously, join those groups. Um, it's a lot of positivity. We're there to help each other grow. You can also advertise your business if you're a trainer. That's not a problem at all. But what I don't want is you only advertising your trainer. So you're only taking and you're not giving. You need to give first. You need to pay a price and then you can take. That's how it works. Okay? So I will let anybody in the group and be part of it and uh, enjoy the benefits from it. But you have to participate. You have to provide. You have to provide to the community. You can't be like, just take, take, take. Uh, I will throw people out. Uh, don't take it personal. It's just Facebook. Um, I'd like to keep the whole community positive. So if I feel that you're negative all the time, or for example, you've been a member for four months and I haven't seen any posts from you, we can't check actually, like the other day, I had one guy who was negative. Okay, if you've been uh, in the group for four months and you've been participating, you, you can't have a bad day, great. But if you start after four months with negativity, then it's pretty quickly for me, bye. And again, don't take it personal. Uh, we might meet in real life and be good friends. It's just Facebook. Uh, I run the groups uh, very tight and I have to because it's a good community and I'm very proud of it and so should you. So let's be part of the community and the video. Make sure you subscribe to Caveman Training on YouTube. Uh, also on Instagram as Real Caveman Training and on Facebook. See you later guys.